investors, welcome to the channel. My name is Mike. I'm an average investor sharing my investment journey on the internet. In today's video, we're going to discuss my options investing. I have four different investment strategies. I options invest, I growth invest, I dividend invest, and I index invest. Particularly in this video, what you're going to get is you're going to get the option trades that I placed in for this week on November 8th. You're going to get these options trades in real time. You're going to get decision making as well as my thought process and why I'm doing what I'm doing. First thing we're going to do to get started is we're on the Robinhood page. I don't know if you guys noticed in my last Robinhood or TikTok update, I was using a $28,000 account. I actually pulled $7,000 out of my Fidelity account, which I was running covered calls and decided I'm not using margin because I was trying to build a cash position over there and I transitioned it over here into this account and what I did. I took that $7,000 and I bought some more Palantir shares. So right now my Palantir account is 1,500 shares. The market just opened, it's 8.32. We're gonna be doing covered calls. I, when I invest in options, I invest for income. I'm not trying to hit it big. I'm not trying to get that winning lotto ticket. I am investing for income. Because I already own 1,500 shares of Palantir, that means I can sell 15 contracts because every single contract, one contract is 100 shares. So if you have 1,500 shares, that would be 15 contracts. Press on this Palantir right here. And since we're selling options, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna trade Palantir options. We're gonna press sell, call. And right now the Palantir price is $26.13. A very important thing to know is how much you pay for the shares. You cannot lose money if you set the strike price above what you pay for. You're always going to be in the green no matter what. Some people get into the habit of thinking that you know this isn't the best strategy. I like it because I can produce and average cost of shares is $25.69. So wherever I place my strike price, it has to be above that number. All right, so going going back to like the options chain here, I'm going to be selling a call Share price is $26.26. Since I paid $25.69, so I could really just sell this next covered call right here and we're good. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna do anything specific. I don't need to time the market. I don't need to do anything special. What this is saying right here is that you're gonna, so this is the strike price. You're gonna sell your shares at this predetermined price at $26.05. This is a weekly call. So this will expire on November 12th. And you're going to sell at $26.05. So the share price is at $26.50. You're going to sell it at this price and you're going to gain the premium. Since I'm, I want to lock this in already, I'm going to go ahead and lock that in. You just press this little tab right here. It's telling you short call. So again, selling call. It's telling you all these little details. So we're going to continue. And now what we're going to do is we're going to sell 15. And the limit price is 1.1. .1 seven i want these to be executed right away so i'm gonna do 1.16 so 15 here the credit i'm gonna get is 1740 dollars. so let's review the order let's lock this in so i just made an easy 1740 dollars. now let's talk about let's just make sure though there we go so i have 15 cells right here it tells me i have 15 covered calls that i'm selling so let's talk about potential outcomes the first potential outcome is stocks always go up and I'm just losing the potential profit. So for example, what if the share price hits 29 or $30 a share? I'm pretty much losing that opportunity cost. I'm losing the opportunity cost. And to me, that's not necessarily a big deal because I already bagged my money, I got the premium. If you're, if you're buying calls and buying puts, like you're paying the person who's covering it the premium. And I like to be the guy that's collecting the premium. I like to be the guy where like, I don't have to have this buy call execute what ends up happening is like you're there just sitting staring waiting for the share price to go up just so that you can like cash in your money where the covered calls i already i got the premium like i don't necessarily need to do that like you guys saw this i didn't look i didn't even look at a single technical analysis or anything like that and i made seventeen hundred dollars <throat> so if i'm gonna be selling at 26.5 i'm still gonna sell for a gain and i get the premium but i just lose the opportunity cost if this share price does skyrocket okay when selling cover calls, my strategy is to sell it pretty close to what the share price is, at least as, as long as it's above the cost basis. If you really wanted to, and where you want to get share price appreciation and harvest premium, you can set the strike prices at where you want to sell it a little bit higher. So maybe you don't want to sell it at 26.5, how I am doing, but maybe you want to sell it at 29 or 30. You're getting $30 a contract. That's pretty, still pretty decent to sell covered calls. So this is 
still a great strategy. You know, like, like if you have a set price, like this company is not worth more than X amount of dollars, you just have this set price and you're getting paid to hold on to it. To me, that's a lot of winning situation. Let's talk about other scenarios. So I'm selling the 26.5 strike. If the if the 26 point if the share price goes below $26.05. I will not be assigned the shares. So for example, the price is $26 or 25, the premium was already paid out. You'll see that the premium will fluctuate, it'll go up, it'll go down. I don't care what happens after I buy it. I got bagged my money or after I sell my covered call, once I bag my money, I'm good. Let's talk about other potential outcomes. If the share price decreases and it's like $26 and you're selling to 26.5, well, you you maintain your shares so your shares do not get assigned you do not sell your shares but then also you still get to keep that premium the moment i press that button for the premium and the share it goes immediately into my account you're only losing the opportunity cost let's just say 25.70 i'm selling for 26.5 that's 80 cents a share that's still 1200 dollars in appreciation plus the premium so that's almost three thousand dollars worth of gain there that's i think that's the easiest money you're going to make so i hope this video helps you guys if you have questions please let me know i love answering questions and much love on your journey, guys, on your investment journey. I hope you all take care and have a great day.